Hey guys, how's it going? DJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World. Welcome to well, welcome to uh, our patch notes. Um, first of all, let me just say thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you everyone who is a member of the channel. Thank you everyone who uses my career code DUJ2. Thank you very much. We have a lot to go over. We have a lot to talk about. Um, stick around to the end of the video if you want. If you want to uh, hear a little bit of the updates. Uh, I'm sorry there has no not been a video for the past few days. And I'm sorry that this video is a little bit late. If you want to talk about it. <laughs> Life is crazy. <laughs> stick around to the end of the video, guys. But we're going to jump th into this right now because we have stuff to talk about. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, th this is... Um, Okay, I got to read this on my phone when it first came out. I was not able to do a video at the time, and uh, I, I'm confused. Um, and I think other people will also be confused. So we're gonna kind of break this down, and we're gonna talk about this. Okay, so save the world home base status report eight three twenty twenty one by the Fortnite team. Calling all commanders, the hit the road season rages on. Keep on powering through those blasted Badlands and collect the latest season rewards before the scheduled 8th end date of September 4th. As mentioned in the previous home base report, we're aiming to analyze and improve underused and underperforming hero abilities. To address that matter, our very own Major Oswald has an update on one of those hero abilities, grenades. So, for those of you who don't know what this is, they told us at the end of last season that there was going to be some hero perk reworks. Now, a lot of us, including myself, we understood that as they are going to look at certain heroes. So, for example, like, let's take Eddie Bot or Eddie, sorry, let's take him. And they were going to they were going to take him and they were going to adjust and change his specific perks. That is not the case. They are going for full hero abilities across the board. Abilities, not perks. Now, again, we thought that they were going to work on certain heroes, like certain heroes who needed a little more buff, or they had a perk, uh, whether it was a team perk or uh, or a you know support perk that just didn't do anything. Like, there's a lot of heroes that we don't use because why? they went for the ability grenades okay listen up recruits as i'm sure the dedicated among you have noticed our grenades just aren't doing the job yeah husks have been able to brush them off like they're just feathers in the wind they won't be the case anymore clip's been grinding away in her workshop and has provided us with higher damaging grenades exciting isn't it be sure to keep an eye on your energy commanders while these grenades pack a punch their energy costs have been slightly increased to accommodate the increased power so they're going to cost a little bit more but they're going to do more damage. Along with the increased damage to grenades, the following perks have been buffed. Perks. Cluster bomb, grenade damage, pull the pin, and keep out. So there we go. Those are... Uh, one, two, three, four? Yeah, three, four. So those are four different perks. Those are perks that certain heroes have that have been buffed. I haven't taken a look at them yet. I haven't had a chance. I'm just now able to sit down with my computer and do this. So... I'm going to go through, I'm going to go look at them and everything. Uh, hopefully I can do a stream. Um, hopefully I can do a stream soon and maybe we can like go through, analyze them, build some different hero loadouts, try them out and see if these are just, if they're actually good now. Um, so increased damage on grenades and certain perks have been buffed. We're hoping to share details on another round of changes in the next report, in the next report. So. Hopefully, there will be another one. Maybe, I don't know, if they're going to do it like this, where they'll do an ability and certain perks, that's pretty cool. But I'm kind of hoping to see certain underperforming heroes get really buffed up so we can try them in certain situations. Now, again, I have to say this, because I have to say this, guys, something like this is very complicated, because if you buff one two up up too much then another one goes down you have to find a perfect balance so that you don't disrupt the meta and having said that like again i haven't had a chance to play it please let me know down below what broke <laughs> and I, I know i know i know i'm saying that very very um i'm saying that very sassy <laughs> but it's the reality it's the truth whenever they do something something else breaks something else doesn't work 
Uh, for example, I'm very curious to find out if the Zap Zap has been fixed because I personally love the Zap Zap and it, it's been a little wonky. Uh, I'm actually thinking of making the Zap Zap my first weapon that I actually put superchargers on. I know that's another thing. But so anyway, here we go. Very interesting. Very curious that we're seeing this. I really am curious to see just how much they fix it. And I'm curious to see what was broken in the rest of the game. Thank you for the update major. Now back to a regular schedule report. So that's it for that. Let's go ahead and see what else the patch notes brings us coming. Oh, and also something I will say here. Why did they not give us percentages? Okay, they do more damage. How much more? 10%, 20%, 40%, 50%. Uh, was the base damage like a thousand before and now it's 5,000. I really, really wish we could go back to the updates and the patch notes where they gave us a little bit more information so we could also kind of plan so we could kind of balance ourselves as well. Um, it's very hard to know when they just say, hey, it does more damage, you know, and also these, how, how much were they buffed? Like they could have made a list here. What were they before and what are they now? I really wish we had that. Uh, coming August 7th, the Surround Pound drops into the event store, uh, event store Escort Cloak Star in Hit the Road Part 2 and the Tales Beyond questline. So, this coming Saturday, we are going to be getting the Surround Pound uh, Cloak Star is coming back in Part 2 and the Tales from Beyond questline. Very cool. Uh, again, nothing new to a Cloak Star. Love him. You guys know how I feel about Cloak Star. <gasps> we haven't done the figure, out, figure it out yourself, have we? Oh my gosh, we have to do that again. Thunder Thora comes back. Thunder Thora, amazing as well. Tales from Beyond, Pale Luna. I know, I know. Uh, I'm excited. Especially with what I've been working on with some different melee weapons. I have to pause here, guys. I have to actually, I have to stop here for everyone. And if you are new to the game or you don't know, this is it right here. This is it right here. She is the one. She is the one, guys. Amazing. Incredible. She is the one. So if you are wondering what's the best ninja, she is the one. Hopefully they don't uh, nerf her. But then again, with all the new changes, is it will we be getting even better ninjas? Hmm. We'll have to see. Coming, and she used to be even better. <laughs> Coming August 14th, next weekend. Oh, sorry, next Saturday. Redline Ramirez takes a pit stop, sip pit stop in the event store, and Quinn hits the road part three. Have we had a part three with Quinn? No, that's new, isn't it? Is that a new one? No, that's her last one. That's her last one. Okay, that's the same one we've always had. Uh, Redline Ramirez, pretty good. She's got a quick scope. Definitely need her if you're going to be using any snipers bows um also something that we looked at here uh cloak star this week it's going to be ricochet modifier so you got to go in melee quick and leg swings uh melee life leech so definitely you got to do melee if you're going to be doing uh this coming week not this current one the next one and then when quinn hits the road part three shields up husk harkness and healing death burst Ooh, okay uh and of course the lock pack is back and if you complete part three you get this which for those of us who already completed it a couple of times i wonder if well, we're not going to get another one. But anyway, there we go. So that is our complete patch notes. Again, very, very curious and very interested to see what exactly how these are. Are we able to use uh, grenades now? Um, there are a, a lot of grenade heroes. And to be perfectly honest, we don't use them at all. So I am very excited to get into this and take a look and see how it is. But let me know if you have been playing, guys, down below. Uh, I still have some stuff that I have to get done. Uh, since I just got back and hopefully I will be able to go ahead and uh, stream very soon. Uh, I will be updating a schedule. So patch notes is on, video is done. Uh, let's go into a little bit of personal news. Uh, thank you very much for always being here, guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for supporting. For those of you who watch the stream, you may have noticed I have not. I was not able to stream on the weekend. Um, I really wanted to stream New World. Even though I didn't get to stream, I played quite a bit, actually. I was able to grab my laptop, my gaming laptop, and go. Uh, and I had some time to just play, so I played a lot. I'm really enjoying New World. And actually, I'm really excited for it to come out at the end of August. If you don't know what that is, uh, you can go check out my video. I have a New World video on the stream, on the channel. Uh, it's a MMO. It's a very large MMO, but it's a bit of a grind. It's It, it kind of reminds me of... Um, of I, and I hate to say this, but it kind of reminds me of what RuneScape should have been. 
like a RuneScape 4 almost kind of. I, I don't know. It's it's interesting without too much of the magic, but uh, it, it's a very cool game. And I'm definitely, definitely going to be uh, hopping on that really hard when it comes out at the end of August. And if you guys want to play with me, you can play, it's, of course, an MMO, MMORPG. And we're going to be making a clan. We're going to be making a plan. We're going to be playing together. We're going to be advancing. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Also, I know that there was not a... I think today is Tuesday. I know there wasn't a Q&A video yesterday. And there's not going to be one this week. Uh, I'm going to push it till next week. <coughs> and probably what I'll do is I did pick up some more uh, V-Bucks. Uh, we'll probably do like a couple of them for next week. So you still have a whole week to comment on the previous video and next week uh we'll do at least two so we'll have like a, a 2000 v buck giveaway or something like that or i think i have a 2500 somewhere um so yeah so i'll be doing that so there will be you know there will be a bigger giveaway next week but there won't be one so you still have a whole week to enter the giveaway for the current thousand and you can still ask questions so you can ask questions all week next monday we'll be doing it again um and finally like i said keep an eye out i hopefully we'll be able to do a schedule starting tomorrow i had to go and take care of something so i wasn't around for a couple days uh, for a few days actually but uh thank you very much guys thank you for everyone who is around uh if you're a member of the channel keep an eye out on the discord i'm going to be doing an update there uh, i've decided to do start doing um updates it's kind of every other day or maybe even every day just chatting with people in the member channel also i will be doing a weekly update in the general chat in the discord if you guys want to uh, chat there uh also kind of including you guys with other stuff that i'm doing uh i have something set up where i will be in the month of august we'll be playing as of now we'll be playing nine different games we're going to be testing nine different games we're going to try them out uh there's a couple of them that i really am excited to go into and maybe we'll i'll do a little mini series or a longer series on the channel so uh definitely keep an eye out for that but anyway that's it guys thanks a lot for watching thank you for being here thank you for supporting i appreciate you all thank you so very much i will see you guys in the next one uh we have a lot to talk about i have a couple things and i definitely want to talk more about this once i get a chance to look at it it looks interesting grenades I i'm horrible at throwing grenades thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya